Hi, it's Nick Miles, and this week's episode of Paul and Cook's Cisco has provided us with a great chef. Mark Odie from Jack's is going to cook up a carbonari. We're going to make a smoked Gouda fondue, and then we're also going to make something that sticks to your ribs. It's good Tex-Mex style smoked salmon enchiladas. Oh, I've got my apron ready, which means when I put it on, it must be time to sizzle. Welcome to this week's Paul and Cooks. I'm Nick Miles, and this week we're in the Bradley Design and Education Center, as every week, where you can come and take a look at your very fine Wolf and Sub Zero products. And this week in the studio, joined by Mark Odie. Mark, you're from Jack's Restaurant. Yes, sir. And tell me a little bit about Jack's. Uh, well, we're downtown uh, on 826 Southwest 2nd. We're uh, we do a uh, scratch kitchen. We make everything from scratch. And uh, we, during the summertime, we have an open air rooftop. And wonderful place, the only one in the whole town. Now, today, three dishes we've got organized for everybody at home a pasta carbonari, mm -hmm. a smoked gouda, or gouda, as if you would say if you're from England, fondue, and then uh, smoked salmon enchiladas. Yep. Let's talk about the first dish we've got going here. We've got some ingredients. We're going to be making the pasta carbonari. Mm -hmm. So what are the ingredients that go into the pasta carbonari? Well, uh, initially for the uh, the pasta, you, this will be uh, four ounces of penne. Uh, we have minced garlic. We'll use about a half a cup of shredded Parmesan. Okay. And uh, we use uh, a thick cut pepper bacon. That's mm -hmm. about, a, about a quarter of a pound of that. And, uh, and half of a red onion. Excellent. Now, these ingredients are all at our website at paulandcookstv.com, so you can watch and enjoy us make the food today, and then afterwards you can go to the website and get all of those ingredients so you can make this at home. So how are we going to start? Well, it's a really uh, it's a quick dish. Uh, we don't need really to add uh, any oil to the pan because we're going to be rendering our bacon off into the pan, and that's going to provide quite a lot of fat. I'm going to add that into there. We're going to cook this to where it's uh, uh, not quite crisp all the way through. It'll start crisping up on the edges, and then uh, and that'll be the signal to go ahead and, and add the onions at that point. Okay. And so really just sort of getting all the fat to come out of the bacon. Yep, and you want it to coat the pan so nothing sticks, and then when the onions hit that, then uh, we'll have a nice uh, medium in which to start browning the onions up. And that's where all the flavors are going to come from in this dish. All right, so that bacon looks like it's nice and uh, beginning to be crispy. Yep, it will be by the time uh, this is ready to all mix together. Okay, and there's sort of a good rendering of flavor on the bottom of the yep. pan there, and also the fats come out of it. So we're adding the onions next? Yep, yep. we're going to add the red onions. And we're going to stir those around a bit, get them nice and coated and all that bacon fat. All right, well, we're getting about to the point here where we're going to add a little bit of uh, white wine and we're going to get all those, uh, all that, all that flavor off the bottom of the pan right there, you I see. I like to call it the goodness of the yeah, bottom it of is. the pan. Yeah, it is. All right, so as we're adding that white wine, as it sizzles, I'll tell you it's time for this week's cooking tip. I'm Mark Bernatich, corporate chef with Cisco Portland. Hamburgers. Everybody's got an issue with how to cook them, how to tell when they're done, when to flip them. I'm going to take care of that. I'm going to season these bad boys up with some salt and pepper. I'm going to slide them onto a medium high heat 350 degree grill or saute pan. And we're going to get these guys cooking them. I'm going to show you when to flip them and how much longer to cook them. Get that down on the grill. You can tell that grill's hot because it's sizzling. Both sides, salt and pepper. Okay. Fresh cracked pepper is always best. So we're going to let these guys cook. I'm going to show you when to flip them. So what we got here is we got a half pound burger patty. We're getting a nice layer of moisture over the top of this. That's when the indication is to flip these bad boys. Now, like I said, these are eight ounces. So I want to let these finish out for 90 seconds. It was a third pound burger, a six ounce, about 60 seconds, quarter pounder, about 30 seconds. 
And look at this, nice brown on the outside of the meat is gonna give that nice grilled flavor to it. And that's what you're looking for. The thing is that we don't want a dry burger, but we want one that's all the way done. So our burgers are done. We only flipped them one time, so they're not gonna fall apart. That's one of the key things about only flipping them once. Cut it in half, let's see how it is. Look at that, nice, medium, well. Perfect. Still nice and juicy, not overcooked, but done to almost everyone's liking. Mark Bertich, Cisco Portland, Corporate Chef. So, Mark, we have bacon and onions and wine cooking in this pan, yep. and now we're going to put together the rest of the ingredients for our pasta carbonari. Yep, this will be the uh, this will be the base for the sauce, and uh, it's it's kind of a custard actually. It's a mixture of eggs and cream. Uh, you want to add one egg, one whole egg, and. Uh, you're looking at about about a quarter cup of shredded Parmesan, uh, and you just need a dash of cream. You're talking maybe uh, one tablespoon. Then we're going to stir this up with the and get all this uh, mixed together here. First, we're going to we're going to get the the pasta out of the out of the water here, and you want to keep this hot. Like I said, the the heat from these two ingredients are going to be essentially what. Uh, what cooks the uh, what cooks the eggs and helps helps thicken the sauce for this quite a bit. Now you want to make sure to get some of the uh, the scrapings off the bottom. That's all flavor. We're just going to mix this together here. That looks uh, like a plate of goodness, my friend. Oh, this is delicious. Reserve a little bit of Parmesan for the top. When Paul and Cook's return, we're going to make that smoked Gouda fondue. And still to come, the smoked salmon enchilada. We're right here with Mark Odie from Jack's. Paul and Cook's will return.